Well, this year was the first year I needed to give up on my very first pair of curling shoes I ever bought. Bought them around 2003, 2002, and at the time, well, and still, I think they are very, very cool shoes. And unlike any other Ashams that had came out at the time, and then I didn't really keep up on their line of shoes for the time being, but everyone I talked to never said they really made another high top model of these. And I really liked that. I, I thought at the time my ankles were really weak when I was playing football and stuff like that. I would always need my ankles taped up. I had a lot of problems. As I got older, I really focused on my ankle strength, so that kind of went away. Um, but I really liked the high top here because I felt like it stabilized my ankle, so it was just one less thing to think about when I was throwing the rock. Well, as you can see, these are pretty dilapidated, and I, I needed to either buy a new pair of current shoes, and they are like 200, well, 180 plus, um, up until like the 260s or something like that. And I was like, no, I, I can find something and make it myself. Um, but I, what I liked about these shoes was a high top and I liked the thick quarter inch sliders here. These are Teflon. So I started thinking and um, was looking around and trying to find a cheap pair of shoes that if I totally messed up on making these, I wouldn't really care. And I came across these LeBron uh, Soldier. God, they're like. Oh, they don't even say the name on, on them. Um, but maybe three years old model from now, I believe. But, anyways, they're a high top, and I like that and uh, wanted that stability. And what I really liked about these is they had a built-in toe cap. Well, if you can see, I played about half a season with these homemade shoes that I made myself, and there's a little bit of wear, but really, if you rub it off with your finger, it's more of just dirt. Uh, so these have held up really well. So in future shoes, I either wanna find this rubber material that I can adhere to the next shoe and make it a cap like that or find something else. I have some ideas down the line. So the sh so next I needed to put a slider on the bottom of these and um, I wanted to mimic the cool designs that they already put on the bottom of basketball sneakers and their, func their functional pieces. Um, when you're playing the sport. But what I really liked about these is the honeycomb shape. I raised bees and stuff like that, and I thought that was really cool. Um, and I wanted to make it just a seamless transition with the sliders and have little individual hexagonal pieces on the bottom of the shoe. I had seen other curling shoes that have come out in the last couple of years that have little individual sliders on there. And I, I think that's a really great idea. You have less material on the ice, which means less drag against the pebble. Um, and hopefully it would result in a longer slide distance. Um, so I got to work in and I started messing around with this type of plastic. It's called high density ultra molecular weight plastic and started messing with that. It, it can be machined, as you can see, there's lots of little, there's a little scrap piece. Um, but it's really, really tough. It's made to, for like food grade material, or food grade machines to pump out like, I don't know, a thousand, well, way more than that. Maybe a thousand pieces of, of, uh, of commercial food, like an hour a day, I don't know but it's supposed to be really high strength, and it is. Um, so I cut out hexagon patterns and found this glue called E6000. A lot of these guys that do shoe restoration, when they take off the sole of the old shoe and put it back on, they use this E6000 glue. Um, and that worked fantastic. If you can see, my, my hexagon pattern 
I thought really came out nice and really looks really cool. Um, got a little, I don't know if I, I, part of me thinks I was lazy. Part of me thinks I, I just didn't think the balance would be there with the small sliders like this on the front as on the back. So I made a big one and put it on there. It worked fantastic. Like I said, I curled with these for about half the season. I curl five like league nights a week and then I have a bond spiel probably every other week. So I, I curled a ton with these and I loved them. They were fantastic. Um, I started doing just dumb little eye tests uh, comparable to these shoes here. These are Teflon, these are the high molecular weight plastics. Um, and I was able to get about 30% consistently, 25 to 30% consistently longer slide on the ice than usual. And it was very, very consistent. Um, I just can't say enough about it. The only thing that was a problem is these stay really, well, not that clean, but these got a little bit, you kind of see a little wear dirt marks. Uh, people who don't curl a lot or at all don't know, like, the main thing of curling is keeping the ice clean. And you, you do, it, little dirt pieces on the ice really mess up the game. Um, so these do get a little bit dirty, and maybe I was just walking on the carpet with the slider and stuff like that, and it's a little bit dirty. So you do have to polish these up if you want them nice and clean, but there are no wear marks at, well... There's one little wear mark, and it looks like just a little scratch. But I really, these are crazy. Even these have, these have tons of little marks on the bottom of it. Granted, I curled with these probably four times as long. I wasn't curling as much, but if you can kind of see in the shimmer of the light, these don't, you can't really see any of the scratches on there. So my consistency went up, my power, my, not my power, my, the weight of my stone was stronger. And again, my consistency was, was perfect. Uh, the balance on this was great. It, I mean, these, they overcompensate by making these edges a lot rounder to have just more surface area. So you, if you're sliding around, you're not going back and forth. But with these, when I just lined it up with how the shoe was designed, it was seamless. I, I mean, I, I went on the ice and had no worries at all besides these being a little bit more slick than usual, than not usual, but the ones before. Um, Again, I can't really say anything bad about the shoe. I like a lot of aspects of this shoe in general. Uh, on make, if I was to make another curling shoe or anybody out there wants a curling shoe made, this was a very, this shoe is awesome. Uh, it has a ton of support all over the place. These hard plastic pieces really keep your heel locked in. The toe on these things, LeBron James, if you don't watch a lot of basketball, He's a very unique runner where he runs on his toes almost exclusively the entire game. He's like he's like a like a gazelle out there. He ju he just kind of bounds along, and he has this little air pocket in the front of the shoe that helps cushion his um, just impact while he runs and jumps and stuff like that. Well. I think that that little air pocket, my, I'm not always on my toe all the time. My takeouts, I'm more toe. My draws and my guards, are, my foot's totally planted on the, on the ice. But when I throw higher weight, for whatever reason, my natural instinct is to go up on the, on the toes. Well, this little air pocket in here really, I felt help with my stability. Um, I don't know what it is, and I'm, I'm sure it was the, sa the same thing 
with why he put it in there for his basketball shoe. I mean, when you're running on just the ball of your foot like that, I'm sure you need a little bit of extra stability in there. And I really think that that air pocket does a lot. Um, and this little thing here was kind of cool. It's a little lion on it. And I thought it would scratch the ice or whatever. It doesn't. It actually works really great for a little lace protector so you're not catching up little pieces of dirt when your drag foot is sliding. Um, the only thing that does drag a little bit is these points on these things are so, so tall that this little part here does drag on the ice, which, I mean, no, only you would notice on it, but I would like to find something that does, that doesn't have quite that sharp point on it next time. Um, also what I really like about these shoes is the aeration on them. I'm, I run hot all the time, and these have great aeration points all over the place. Uh, people don't think you get hot and sweaty when you're out on an ice rink, but ask any hockey player. You're, you're lathering up a big sweat out there no matter if you're playing hard. And again, that, that's just an effort thing there. So I really like the breathability of these. I will continue to look for shoes with a lot of breathability in there to keep my, my foot from being swampy on those long bond field days when you're not changing shoes and socks and stuff like that, like some athletes do in their sporting events. Um, other than that, I, I, I go out there and try and make your own stuff. I, I Everyone at the club was impressed with these. Everyone kept asking me about it. Everyone asked, like every question, you, how's your slide? How's the balance? All that stuff, and I am I am I was thrilled how well something in my own concoction worked. Um, if you are at all out there thinking that that you want to make your own, make your own. If not, uh, drop a comment down below and t tell me a shoe or send me a shoe or something like that that um, that I can work on for you. This has really become really fun for me. Um, and I, I'm really enjoying, uh, maybe in my own own mind, uh, progressing the sport just a little bit in my my hometown here. Um, I have another shoe to show you, and whenever in a couple of videos from now, um, that is also a really cool pattern. And I have not been able to test that yet. I have a barn spiel in July in Blaine, Minnesota, that I'll be. Uh, Busting those out at and giving them more out on the ice, but I will be playing in these for the for the competitive tournament here. Um, yes, uh, I keep making stuff. Uh, curling is is an old sport, but is has not had a lot of people that think about progressing the sport. Not like bat, not like basketball or or hockey or any of those things. Uh, it's been kind of stagnant. The only technology that's progressed is brooms and really they've just gotten lighter and put a swivel head on it. And uh, there could be a lot of things improved in a lot of different areas in the sport to make it uh, just more and more competitive. Uh, so yeah, get out there and try new stuff, make mistakes just play as much as humanly possible. If you're not a player, just go find a club. Everyone's super supportive there. Um, I found the most well-adjusted, nice people at my club, and um, the, they are the ones that have uh, inspired me to make more shoes and just keep messing around with this game and different aspects of it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Put any questions, any comments, ideas for your own shoes, please drop it below. I would love to talk to anybody with any ideas or anything about the sport. Um, all right, cool. I'll talk to you guys later.